Hello everyone, our topic for today is all about weather and weather components. Are you ready? Let's check the keywords. Weather, temperature, humidity, air pressure, velocity, wind direction, and breeze. Okay, let's begin. What is weather? Weather is the general condition of the atmosphere in a given place at a given time. Meteorologists, the scientists who study the weather, they project or forecast the weather based on a certain elements or components. The weather affects or determines a person's daily life. When the weather is fine, you can engage in outdoor activities. Even travelers push through with their trips. When there are heavy rains and strong winds, you are advised to stay indoors. Classes sometimes are suspended because of storm. Five weather components. First, air temperature refers to how hot or cold the atmosphere. It can be measured using a thermometer which may give reading in degrees Celsius of degrees Fahrenheit. It is very important factor in determining the day's weather. Factors that affect air temperature, sunshine, time, geography, and air movement. The amount of heat and light we receive from the sun affects the temperature. In the morning, when the rays of the sun are somewhat slanted, the temperature is low. At noon time, when the rays of the sun fall directly on a certain area and the amount of heat per unit area is great, the temperature is high. Thermograph, a device that records temperature automatically and continuously. Example is uh, 34 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature, the lowest temperature. Maximum temperature, the highest temperature. Number two, humidity. Refers to the amount of moisture in the air at a given time. Hygrometer, an instrument that measures humidity level. It has two thermometers, one wet and another dry. Relative humidity expresses the amount of water vapor in the air. These are the examples of thermometer and hygrometer. Right. Next is air pressure. Air pressure or atmospheric Pressure is the force exerted by the weight of a column of air. Barometer measures air pressure. Two types, liquid barometers and metal barometer. Mercury barometer is an example of a liquid barometer. It uses a long glass tube, open at the end and close at the other. There is 760 mm, the normal air pressure at sea level. Aneroid barometer is an example of a metal barometer. So this is the example of mercury barometer and aneroid barometer. Number four is wind speed and direction. Wind is the movement of air. What causes winds? When air is heated, its density decreases, 
heated air rises and produces an area of low pressure. Winds are caused by the differences in air pressure due to the unequal heating of the Earth's atmosphere. Two types of winds, local and global winds. Local winds blow from any direction and usually covers short distances. Global winds blow from specific global areas and cover longer distances. There is global wind system. There are parts of the earth that receive direct sunlight while others receive slanting rays. Some parts, particularly the polar region, do not receive much sunlight for several months. The differences in the amount of sunlight also cause differences in temperature. So in the illustration, it's showing the global wind system. Sea breeze. The flow of air from the sea to the land. Land breeze, the flow of air from the land to the sea. Measuring wind speed and direction. Wind vane is used to measure the wind direction. East wind is the wind blowing from the east. West wind, the wind blowing from the west. Anemometer is used to measure the wind speed. The number of times an anemometer rotates is recorded in revolutions per minute, RPM or kilometers per hour or kph. Air vane measures wind speed and determines wind direction at the same time. Example of anemometer. This is the one. Next, the Beaufort scale. Francis Beaufort, the British naval officer, developed a scale that describes the strength of wind. Number five, cloud, is a mass of condensed water vapor suspended in the upper atmosphere. It looks like a fog, which is also made of tiny droplets of water. Water on the earth evaporates into the atmosphere and becomes water vapor. This water vapor condenses on tiny particles of dust or other small solid materials in the air and form clouds. So clouds help us project the kind of weather in a specific place at a given time. Kinds of cloud. First, cumulus clouds are light and puffy low-level clouds that form at a height of about 2.4 kilometers and they are often seen during summer. They usually bring a fair weather. So this is the picture of cumulus clouds. Next one is uh, cirrus clouds. It's a Latin word for curly, made up of ice crystals, very thin, curly, feathery, or fibrous high-level clouds. They form up high in the sky, about 6 to 12 kilometers from the ground. Isolated cirrus clouds indicate fair weather, but if seen in large numbers, these clouds warn that bad weather is coming in a day or two. So, the picture shows a cirrus clouds. Next is stratus clouds. Are low level clouds of flat, hazy, gray sheets floating in the sky. From the Latin word layer. They fully cover the sky and block the sun. Light rain and drizzle usually accompany stratus clouds. 
when status clouds form very close to the ground, fog is formed. Showing here the illustrations of stratus clouds, right? The fourth one is called nimbus clouds. Are large grayish black low altitude clouds that form in warm weather conditions. Is a cloud that produces precipitation. Nimbus comes from the Latin word which means rain. So nimbus clouds accompanied by a rain. So uh, the picture shows nimbus clouds. Okay, that's it. Please answer these questions. What is weather? What are the different components of weather? How does weather affect the activities of people? How do meteorologists project the weather for the day? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.